everyone. So let's get talking and let's get a view of the, one of the labor leaders, the TUC president, Trade Union Congress of Nigeria, uh, comrade, uh, comrade Osifo, Festus Osifo, joins us virtually. Thank you so much, comrade, for joining us. Give us an understanding. Your colleagues you, uh, uh, walked out of the federal government's uh, negotiation. It does look like it did not meet your expectation. You came to the table with a 615,000 Naira figure, but they came with 48,000, or was it? Uh, yes. Uh, good evening, Sean, and uh, good evening to, to, to your viewers. Uh, good evening, Nigerians. Um, actually, what happened was that uh, we, we went to the meeting today, if you could remember, um, the, just after the last meeting that we had, we sent a proposal to federal government. That proposal was about 615,000 Naira. Like as I have said in your studio before, are we expecting for government to match our 615,000 Naira realistically? For us, um, it is a no. But when you are negotiating, you come to the table with your best case scenario. Uh, we some markup on it. So that was what we did. So after that submission, we have not had any meeting up till today. So in the meeting of today, uh, we now made a presentation from the organized labor justifying what we have submitted. So uh, from the government angle, they also made a submission from their angle that what they could offer is 48,000 Naira. Then from the organized private sector, they also did a presentation that it should be 54,000 Naira. So we asked some salient questions. Okay, just to first of all add that in the organized private sector presentation, they actually added that the least paid worker today, averagely, is around 78,000 Naira uh, for the organized private sector. Uh -huh. So for us, we now said, okay, if that is the case, then why are you not starting from there? If realistically today, uh, what is obtainable in your end from your own presentation is about 78,000 Naira. So that should be the very, the minimum you should start from. Then we, could, we will not start negotiating from there. We also told government, federal government, first, that how did you come to this 48,000 Naira? Can you give us a breakdown? Supported by data, supported by the reality of today, looking at where we are today in terms of inflation, so, somebody that earns 48,000 Naira, kindly tell us, how do you want this to, to, to spend the money? Show us how much is it to pay for food. Show us how much is it to pay for transportation. Uh, give us the breakdown that is it to pay for his child or his children's school fees. So, give us this breakdown. Let us understand the rationale behind your 48,000 Naira. Because on the part of labor, we came with the breakdown. So, we asked government to give us that breakdown. So, they couldn't give us the breakdown. It's against that backdrop that we felt that they were not prepared and that they were not ready. That was why we walked out uh, from the negotiation meeting. All right. So what is the way forward now? Because we understand that labor has given federal government an ultimatum. In that ultimatum, we understand that there is a threat for a showdown. Is that the way forward for labor? Uh, yes, uh, Shun, you recognize that we are pressure group. Uh, like, if you remember the last time I was in your studio, that we talked about, we talked about the the federal government, uh, the cyber crime levy. After the interview and after some interventions, the levy was withdrawn. So, our threat for industrial action, uh, when the condition precedence is met, then we will go back. If you remember on May one, Shun, if you remember May first in Eagle Square. We actually stated that government should conclude discussions around minimum wage by the end of May. And we are still maintaining that stand, that all conversations around this, I mean, should be concluded by May 31st. As pressure group, like as we have always said, that we have a toolbox. In our toolbox, we have conversations, we have meetings, we have a uh, strike, we have picketing. They are all in the toolbox. So we have told government that they need to conclude this in earnest. But if they don't invite us for meetings, that they will be much more serious. All we want from them is this some level of seriousness. So if you come, if you look at the value of the eight thousand naira today. As a way we negotiated 18,000 naira in 2011, 18,000 naira could buy more than two bags of rice or thereabouts. When we negotiated uh, the 30,000 naira in 2019, it could buy one bag of rice, more, I mean, a, about one and a half bag of rice or thereabouts. So 48,000 naira today cannot buy a bag of rice. So how can a man survive 
with 48,000 Naira. So for us, we are not fixated about 615,000 Naira, but all we are saying is that that is our initial demand. But let government be serious. Let's look at the data. We are organization driven, driven by data and driven by information. So government must come, sit down, prepare, bring the necessary data. And we look at how can a man survive? Even a single man, somebody living in Yaya or somebody living in Lube, uh, here, I, I mean, in Abuja, can 48,000 Naira, we not But, but, but Mr. Yeah. Sifo, Mr. Fisso, yeah. Sifo, if the federal government said, because from the figure, existing figure, at the national minimum wage is 30,000 Naira, uh, we see now that states like uh, uh, Edo State have uh, jacked it up to 70,000. That means that that figure from Edo State is even higher than the proposition of the federal government. The federal government seems to just have added 18,000. Did they give reason? Is it that they cannot pay? Is it that the money is not there? Or what exactly is the reason for the federal government to say 48,000 is their proposal? Or is that their first figure that they put forward as a mode of, I mean, getting into the mode of negotiation? Uh, yes. Uh, for us, we, we want to assume uh, that uh, um, what they are put forward, <laughs> we don't know because there was no reason I was actually adduced to it. But so, to quickly let you understand that even the national minimum wage that was 30,000 Naira, if you could remember, before President Muhammadu Buhari left, he increased, he added about 40% to it. So when that happened, if you factor in 40% into 30,000 Naira, that will give you about 42,000 Naira. So what that means is that before President Muhammad Buhari left, the least person in federal ministry was only any 42,000 naira. If you now factor that, uh, the current minimum, uh, the, the wage award that was given of 35,000 naira, if you factor in that 35,000 naira, 35,000 plus 42,000 naira is going to give us 77,000 naira. So that is actually as of today. What the least federal government worker earn is 77,000 naira. So the question that we now ask is that if the least federal government worker today is earning 76, uh, 77,000 naira because 42 plus 35 is 77. So if it's earning 77,000 naira, why are you now coming to, to present 48,000 naira? It does not just make any sense. So but but, but what, would you say, what would you say is the way forward? Now, because if you walk out of that negotiation, are they, are they fixed another meeting? Uh, yes, for us, the way forward for us is for all parties to come to the table and be much more serious. And this negotiation table is a sign and it's also an act. Negotiations are driven by data. They are not driven by sentiments. They are not driven by emotions. So 48,000 Naira today, it, uh, if you convert it to dollars, you will see how abysmal it is. So for us, when we must uh, convene a meeting, and in that meeting, there must be data. Your position must be supported by data. Your po you must come in and do the breakdown and tell us how will this amount that you are proposing take an average Nigerian home. So that is actually our cross for this conversation, Shehu. So, but now, you gave the federal government to the end of the month. If they do not comply or they do not meet up with your expectation, what will happen? Yeah, so, like as we have said, um, I, I will not be able to pronounce fully what will happen now because we have organs. Uh, but overall, like as I have said earlier, we have toolbox. And in our toolbox, we have various... Um, Various means with which we call government to order. So for us, we are going to hold our organ meetings, we do the review, and at the end of the day, we'll communicate to Nigerians because what they are put on the table is completely abysmal. Not an era where you have inflation that is chasing high levels of 30. No, this cannot solve right. our plight and our problems today with this level of challenges and with this level of difficulties and an average mm. Nigerian is passing through. So government must be serious. Let's come to the table, come with your data, come with superior argument, then we have those conversations on how to move forward. So for, for labor, quickly, I just have about 10 seconds. If anything that is less than 100,000 or 150,000, uh, will it be acceptable to labor? I, say, uh, I will not be able to state it categorically, but say 100,000 Naira is even less than what? It's even less than it. Um, um, it's about $80. 
And uh, what can that actually do as of today? But as we have said in negotiations, right. we put our best foot forward in negotiations. We have people in that table who understand the art and science of negotiations who should be able uh, to resolve all this. As all long right. as government is serious and they come to the table with superior arguments and data. Pastor Osifo is the president of the Trade Union Congress, one of the leaders in negotiating with the federal government on the national minimum wage. Thank you so much, and I wish you and your colleagues the very best as you negotiate for the interest of the Nigerian labor and workers. Thank you so much. Indeed, Thank you so much, time. everyone. Thank you. I appreciate it.